In this video, we're going to talk about phosphodiesterase inhibitors that work to improve erectile dysfunction. So the most common drug used here is sildenafil, also known as Cialis is its trade name. A lot of these have afil as their suffix, like tadalafil is Viagra. And this, these drugs were originally marketed as cardiovascular drugs. So if someone had angina and they needed vasodilation, this drug was marketed for that, but then they noticed something else. So they started marketing it for that and it made all, it's a billion dollar drug now. So how does this work? The blood vessels of the penis, um, like here's a cross section. We have the corpora cavernosum, which is a spongy tissue up here. We have the corpora spongiosum, which is another spongy tissue. And we have the cavernosal arteries here bringing blood into the penis, and we also have uh, urethral arteries here. So they have this baseline tone, and there's calcium entering the smooth muscle, uh, lining these, these arteries. So um, as long as that calcium is coming in, muscles are contracting, there's going to be a certain amount of constriction. But when a little something arouses the person, it will increase the parasympathetic innervation from this um, sacral plexus and it'll lead to the endothelial cell that lines these blood vessels and what will happen is it will release acetylcholine. The parasympathetic nervous system is responsible for the, the point and then the sympathetic nervous system they actually work together here is the shoot. So this is leading to the point. So uh, we have endothelial nitric oxide synthase that gets activated. It takes L-arginine, an amino acid, and converts it into nitric oxide, which is a gas that in a paracrine fashion moves its way into the smooth muscle cells and activates guanylate cyclase, which is an enzyme that takes GTP, converts it to cyclic GMP, which then activates kinases. What do kinases do? they phosphorylate things, they're enzymes. So the two kinases that get in, uh, uh, activated here are protein kinase A and cyclic GMP dependent protein kinase. They're gonna throw a phosphate on the calcium channel and that phosphate's gonna turn, close the calcium channel so no more calcium comes in. What's this smooth muscle gonna, cell gonna do at this point? It's gonna relax because that calcium's not, not stimulating contraction. So when it relaxes, it causes a dilation of these arteries. And as long as that cyclic GMP is active and phosphorylating, you're gonna have that relaxation. And that's where the drug comes in. So Cialis comes in as a phosphodiesterase inhibitor because what phosphodiesterase does is it takes cyclic G GMP and converts it to um, just regular GMP, which no longer sets off this uh, downstream phosphorylation. So if you're blocking that phosphodiesterase, that keeps this, this cyclic GMP functioning and it continues to phosphorylate this and it continues to keep these arteries open. When these arteries open up, blood engorges this spongy tissue and it swells and it actually compresses the dors superficial dorsal vein. So you get this good strong erection between blood, lots of blood coming in and it gets stuck there. It can't go out. And that's how this drug works. And um, preapism pre is a, a side effect of these drugs where um, you can have erection lasting more than four hours and it's actually a medical emergency. It can do permanent damage. Um, but um, that's the mechanism of action of how phosphodiesterase inhibitors help with erectile dysfunction.